All right, so it's like $14.99 for the bucket of chicken. And I've got a pineapple juice, of course. The peach mango pie. And uh, I'm gonna try and eat all of it. Talk about crunchy chicken. Woo! The gravy's for the chicken. But, hmm, let's do it. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another mukbang. It is a Friday and I came down to Scarborough on the wrong day. It turns out it's a PD day, a professional development day. I noticed there were a lot of kids in line and I'm like, like who has time in your busy school day to line up for an hour to get your chicken? And uh, apparently they do because it's a PA day. They're not in school today. So bad timing on my part. Last time I was here, I literally walked right into the restaurant. No worries. This time, it took me over an hour, hour and six minutes from lining up to walking out with my food. So, and I got here at 10.30 in the morning. You'd think nobody wants fried chicken at 10.30 in the morning. So it kind of worked out in my favor. It's now 11.49, perfect time for lunch. All right, so I got the, uh, the bucket of chicken, six pieces, and it better be spicy this time. Oh, goody. Because last time I didn't get spicy, they made a mistake. Did somebody say steak? All right, so it's like $14.99 for the bucket of chicken, and then $2.49 for the pineapple juice, and then I did a, a pie, the peach mango pie. And uh, I'm gonna try and eat all of it. So that's, that's the mukbang for today. And I have a little bit, I was trying to figure out what, what kind of a, what we could talk about today. And the one thing that just happened while I was waiting in line is Anthony Bourdain, who is an amazing TV host, writer of books, storyteller. Uh, he passed away. Uh, he committed suicide, um, I guess, either early this morning or late last night. And so I, as I was in line looking through all my social media, uh, that kept coming up and everybody was talking about Anthony Bourdain. So, and he was 61 years old. Uh, I had no idea that you, usually people who commit suicide have um, uh, like a mental illness of some type. And I don't, I never heard anything about him having a mental illness. Like, I don't know what his reason was. Um, it's just sad that he's gone now. All right, so let's let's move on to happier thoughts. We've got our gravy, our bucket of gravy, and we also have our bucket of chicken. So last time, I remember talking to you guys and telling you guys that the, the, the usually you can tell just by the color of the chicken that it's spicy, and then of course when it is spicy, they put a little flag in it, just like uh, when I was in San Francisco. Excuse me, my eyes itchy. So anyway, I'm gonna try and put the bones in here. As somebody also mentioned in my last video, uh, you know, about the fact that they, f they felt it was sad that they're, you know, giving me all this food in two bags and uh, it's just gonna end up in the garbage. But look, uh, OXO, biodegradable, 100% environmentally friendly. So Jolly Bee, good for you. Uh, more restaurants really, really need to be on board with that. Um, so you can just throw it in the garbage and it will biodegrade uh, easy. So that was a good thing. I must, I forgot to tell you guys, or I didn't notice until I was editing or something, I don't know. All right, let's just put that there for the bones. All right, let's dig in. And I've got a pineapple juice, of course. I do have a thing of water, and it's right there as a backup. All right, let's dig in. I haven't had spicy chicken in, or their spicy chicken in three years, four years. So I was really looking forward to it last time, but they gave me regular anyway, no big deal. Let's start eating. Mmm. So leave a comment in the comment section below if you've eaten at Jollibee. Do you like their spicy or their regular? I love their spicy way more than their regular. It's got a nice kick to it, way more flavor, nice, nice, uh, nice and spicy. 
but not too hot. I can hear what other people were ordering and almost everybody either gets, you know, half the bucket spicy and the other half regular or they get spicy. So it's obviously popular. Super crunchy. Also, let's get a discussion going about Anthony Bourdain. Any particular story, book, um, television show that you liked of his the most? One of my uh, favorite shows that I watched was when he went to Ireland. And he was drinking Guinness, talking about Ireland. Talk about crunchy chicken. Woo! One piece down. Five to go. Between each chicken. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, take a nice sip of that awesome juice. So this is a, a thigh, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure if they do chicken breasts there or not. Oh, mm -hmm. Took me a while to find this spot. That parking lot has no big trees, so there's zero shade. So I went through that parking lot there, and then I went across the street, and then I came back, and I'm literally parked in a laneway. I'm not causing any problems. Not, not a lot of traffic is going through here. That's why I chose the spot. Plus there's this nice tree right here. And it looks like I only have so many minutes <laughs> before the sun catches up to us. Mm. Way better. Mm. I'm talking about the, the uh, spiciness. You're supposed to dip your chicken I believe people were saying, oh, the, the gravy's for the chicken. But, hmm, let's do it. It doesn't really add anything to it. really hot as I was looking for a parking spot I uh, guess I shouldn't like bite my hands every time as I was looking for a parking spot I'm thinking oh that's good that's taking me a while to find a good parking spot because uh, the chicken needs to cool down but I don't cool down enough Wow. Woo. I was talking to a guy in line. I'm like, if I was the owner of this store, I'd want to be putting up another one as soon as possible because it's just so busy. It'd be interesting to come by on a, a Friday when school's not out. See if it's as busy. They used to have a tent, but they're taking away the tent. But they have umbrellas that they'll hand out to you if you want. But luckily, my wife's in my wife's car. There is an umbrella. Gosh. Woo. The heat's gonna slow me down a bit.
Mm. Yeah, one of my favorite things about Anthony was his writing. I wish I could write that good. And that's all cartilage and bone. Piece number two, I'm glad they gave me more legs. They're just easier to eat. Got three legs. Okay, they gave me three legs and three uh, thighs. Nice. Thanks, Jolly. That's a pretty big chicken leg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a spicy seasoned salt that they dusted in. They also have a limit to how much food you can order per person. You don't want to have people in line that are ordering for like an office. So when you're uh, in line, oh, it's temperature hot guys. And the spices are starting to catch up to me. No lie. While you're waiting in line, they or as you walk up to the line, the guy gives you a number and a, a little menu, and you can kind of decide what you want by the time that the other next person in line, eventually somewhere along the line, writes down what you want on a piece of paper, so that when you walk in, you're not saying, "Um, can I?" Just to speed up the process. No, oh, I can dunk this one. Here we go. Dunk. Oh, gravy. I'm not big on gravy and chicken. Gravy on turkey at Thanksgiving, definitely. Um, and gravy on my fries. Before I even knew what poutine was, gravy on the fries. I do gravy, like french fries gravy, salt, pepper, and then ketchup. <laughs> Nasty combination. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'm not going to eat for the rest of the day, trust me. It's a mosquito. Got mosquitoes in here. Oh, better not bite me. Better not sting me. Suck my blood. And I think I just stained my shirt with chicken. Oh, three more pieces to go, people. I think I can do it. Let me know if you think you could do it. That was a pretty big piece of chicken. Super crispy chicken mm. Mm -hmm. oh, look at the steam still people holy cow train goes right past here. All bone there.
there's a uh, a champion food eater. Her name is Raina. I have never met her, but uh, I know of her. And when I was with um, Matt from Reckless Eating and Sean, and we were in uh, Palm Springs together, they were talking about the um, the video I was in with, on their channel. It was like eating this big, I don't know, three pound sandwich. And uh, we were trying to beat Raina's time with three of us because she's, she's a super eater. And uh, so I left a comment on there and she, I think she wants to make a video. So leave a, a comment in the comment section below as what you would like to see uh, maybe Raina and I eat when I'm in LA. I think she's going to be around for VidCon. Obviously, we can't do a competition. So she'll just annihilate me. Two pieces left. I'm going to leave the leg for last. Because it'll make me feel good that I only have one small piece. It's smaller than the, than the thighs. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. I would say if I went to KFC, or if I went to I don't know, somebody's birthday party and they bought tons of KFC or chicken or whatever. I'd probably eat around three pieces of chicken. I think the Colonel's chicken is a little bit smaller than this. I haven't had it in a while. Starting to get nauseous. Hmm. <laughs> Up to 18 minutes. I haven't eaten this much chicken ever. I'm gonna need a cleansing. Well. Wow. I'd like to thank everybody for congratulating me on hitting 400,000 subscribers. It was very nice of you. Took a while. Some channels grow fast. Some grow slow. I'm a slow grower, but I'll get there eventually. I need a time out. Can't pull that apart. Last piece. That, that is like the perfect drink for their chicken. Oh boy. Okay, let's do it. I always try to make sure these mukbangs are under 30 minutes. Under, oh, I, I'm sorry about that. Luckily, I was looking in the mirror for a quick second. How long was that there for? Not good. Can't feel it. Oh, it's on your mustache. Mm. Yeah. I try to keep the, the mukbangs under 20 if I can. 
which depends on how much I'm eating. And this is a lot. I think it said something about 2,200 calories. Uh-huh. Yep, I could see that. I thought it would be more. Oh, just a little bit left, right? I posted pictures of me in line on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. So if you like Instagram, give me a follow and you can see sometimes little sneak pictures of what I'm going to be doing that's coming up. So I'm eating this on a Friday, but the video is going up Monday. Oh. oh, that's it. I grabbed almost the right amount of napkins. Yeah, no, I grabbed the right amount. Again, I apologize about the food on the face. I hope it wasn't there that long. That's gross. All right. That is my Jolly Bee Bucket Mukbang. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna put that right inside there. Put our lid back on. I just remembered. My peach mango pie. I have to eat that too. Mmm. Gotta love mango. Mmm-hmm. Nice treat to finish off your meal. But when you're this full, how many calories calories do you think this is? There's spit. So I have to add it to the the whole meal. This whole thing was probably like a 25 plus hundred meal. So everything here is biodegradable, which is great. Way to go, Jolly Bee. Ah. And the sun held out just long enough. See one napkin left. Holy cow, my foe. This is what they give you in line. Nice long list of items. Just helps you know what you want. Anyway, wow. That was, uh, I haven't eaten that much food in a long time. I can't believe I actually ate it. I thought I was gonna bail on four pieces, but I did it just for you guys. Mm. didn't put enough water in that I'm going to be drinking water for the rest of the day alright guys I'd like to thank you very much for um, supporting this channel and my vlog channel through subscriptions, through thumbs up through comments through sharing, I really really appreciate that, uh, let me know if you stayed to the very end of this video I'll be looking for those comments I'll try and heart as many as I can of the people who stayed to the very end. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It helps me uh, build this channel more. Knowing that you guys like it. All right, guys. So 
If you enjoyed this video of me eating a whole bucket of chicken, please hit that subscribe button. It is right around here, and especially if you love mukbangs. But if you love my, my videos and you want to show your support, hit it with a thumbs up, especially this one. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Kendomic mukbang. Ciao, guys.